Sebastian Gorka, former advisor to President Trump, author of the soon-to-be-released book, Why We Fight. Monica Crowley is a contributing editor to Spectator USA, senior fellow at the London Center for Policy Research. And welcome both of you back to the program. Monica, we begin with you. I'm listening. The Democrats didn't get what they want, but it never was coming, was it? No, because it never would be enough for them, Sean. There is one reality that none of us should lose sight of, and that is that the left is at war. They are at war for the future of the country. They are at war against the Constitution. They are at war against free market economics. They are at war against individual liberty. In other words, they are at war with everything that Judge Kavanaugh stands for and will fight for on the Supreme Court. Therefore, not only must he be blocked, he must be destroyed. Because if he's allowed to ascend to the highest court, well, that means that the left is no longer going to be able to use the highest court in the land to slam through their agenda. Because Lord knows they can't necessarily get it to the ballot box. So for decades, they've been relying on the judiciary in order to affect their left-wing agenda. And they know with Kavanaugh on the bench, it's essentially over for them, and they're going to have to change tactics. That's why they have I don't know if they ever change tactics. This, this is the only playbook that in all my years of... Now, 30 years in radio, now having begun my, you know, well, in two days I'll begin my 23rd straight year at Fox since the day they launched the channel, and I'm one of the remaining original Foxsters. I mean, i got to tell you, things have not changed, and, and that's the point, Dr. Gorker, is that they don't change their tactics. They don't seem to have any concern at all for the fact that there's no corroborating evidence in any of the cases that they have brought up. Now they're sending out, or at least Deborah Katz's friends are sending out these phishing emails saying, if you know something, please, we need your help. Hurry up. Please write us now. Tell us. You're absolutely right, Sean. I wrote a piece today in The Hill, um, which is a, a kind of summary of my, my book, Why We Fight. If you're surprised at what Kavanaugh has been put through, this trial by ordeal, this, this calumny, uh, you shouldn't be. Then you have no historic perspective. The Democrats have been doing this for a century now. Go back to 1948 and the case of Whitaker Chambers. His was the first ever televised, live televised testimony before Congress. And what happened there? This is a man who was a former communist who knew where the communists were inside the U.S. government, including Alger Hiss, beloved by the Democrat Party, senior State Department a former official, and he, he told the Congress, this guy is a Soviet agent. I was the person carrying secret messages from Moscow to Al Jahis. Al Jahis denied it, but because he, he was a, a, a darling of the left, they took Whitaker Chambers and they accused him of everything you can imagine. Uh, they accused him of not only being unfaithful to his wife, they accused him in the death of his brother. None of the accusations were true, and, and long after Whitaker Chambers died, when the Venona uh, uh, communications were declassified, we had the proof that Al Jahis was a Soviet spy. So, Sean, they've been doing this since at least the Second World War, and, and Monica's absolutely right. They're doing this because they are at war with the will of the American people. We, told, we chose Donald Trump. Donald Trump chose Judge Kavanaugh, and that is why Judge Kavanaugh must be destroyed. So what do these three Republican senators do, uh, Collins and Murkowski and, of course, Jeff Flake, and then what does Joe Manchin and Heidi Heitkamp, who's down by 11 in North Dakota, do, Monica? Well, I think based on some of the comments we've heard today, Sean, from Senator Collins in particular, it looks like they're pretty satisfied with the FBI investigation, um, and it looks like they could be yeses. Flake, who knows? He's a flake, so who knows what he is going to do. But I suspect we might pick up some red state Democrats like Joe Manchin, Heidi Heitkamp, who is now down 10 points in her race in, in North Dakota. And if they really want to stand for the Constitution and what's right and human decency, they will vote to confirm. Well, I'll be honest. You know, if, they, if they vote for Kavanaugh, it's probably going to be an election year conversion, and only after they see that the Republicans have the votes to confirm him. 
You know, Sean, if I could just jump in, Seb just delineated this this uh, brilliant summary of the Alger Hiss case. Do you know what Republican congressman exposed Hiss as a Soviet spy? It was Richard Nixon. I wrote a piece today in Spectator USA because I went back and looked at my notes of my conversations with Nixon during the Clarence Thomas hearings. And my column wow. is all about Nixon. By the way, for insights. those that don't know, I mean, how many years did you work with and for uh, former President Nixon? Four years, from 1990 until his death in 94, Sean. Wow. And I was there in 1991 during the Clarence Thomas hearings with Nixon. And my column today in Spectator USA writes about how Republicans today should have foreseen this assault on Kavanaugh because Nixon certainly did 27 years ago. You know, they, 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 they're, they're a on anything that anybody that's good and decent, but certainly anybody who believes in the principles that we believe in that made this country great, if they stand in the way of the left, the left will destroy them, take them out. Clarence Thomas, Brett Kavanaugh, it doesn't matter. For them, it's not personal. It's all about power. Even if you destroy a man, his reputation that he built up after four decades, his family, his wife, his children, doesn't matter. Um... You know, that's sad. All right, quick break. We'll come back more with Dr. Gorka and Monica Crowley on the other side. And as we continue with Dr. Sebastian Gorka and Monica Crowley, if this is now a party of slander, smear, bludgeoning, character assassination, and they really don't have a vision for the country in 33 days, except that they hate Trump, they want to investigate Trump, Dr. Gorka, and the, they want to keep Obamacare, and... They want to raise taxes. They didn't like the tax cut. They want their crumbs back, and they want to eliminate ICE, and they want open borders. Uh, why do I read in these polls that there's either going to be a blue wave or things are now finally tightening and Republicans have a chance to maintain power, which I would hope would be the best-case scenario? Oh, they have a vision, Sean, of all the Democrats that are running for office this November, 40 of them, 4-0, are running as avowed socialists. It's incredible. After a hundred million people killed, more enslaved, more tortured, they want to literally turn America into Venezuela. That's how you get people like Cortez winning primaries in New York. So well, Barack Obama simple... just uh, just endorsed Cortez. Yes, yes, he endorsed them in, in his list, and forty of those people call themselves socialists. But but there's a very simple message to all your listeners, to all Americans out there. Look at Brett Kavanaugh's record for every year he's been alive, more than 50 years, spotless, clean record. In fact, he's not a, a, just a His record cow. was he's clean until 17 days ago. Right. Spotless until 17 boring, days boring ago. And if the, 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 the conclusion is a very simple one. If they can do this to this man, they can do it to anybody, including to the listeners of your show. If you get in the way of the Democrat Party, they will try to destroy you and your family and your reputation. There's nobody Isn't on Twitter. We all three of us, all of us, have been through these phony smears yeah. and attacks. I've been through it. Dr. Gorka, you've been through it. Monica, you've oh, been yeah. through it. I remember calling Monica. Yep. Uh, so I don't even remember what they were attacking you about, to be honest. And I remember saying... Uh, well, welcome to the club. It's par for the course. Hang in there. And when you're in the middle of it, it's not that much fun, and a lot of people aren't making phone calls to you. No, you're only and taking, look, you're only taking flack when you're over the target, Sean. Yeah, that, that's exactly right, Sean. And look, if you're a conservative, you're a target. But if you're a pro-Trump conservative, now you've got about 100 targets on you. Anybody who stands up for this president, what he is doing, his agenda, Anybody who is associated with him, nominated uh, by him, uh, uh, supportive of him, you are a target. And the president himself is a great role model because he is the strongest political leader I have ever seen. And, uh, and Judge Kavanaugh, God bless him, because he's withstanding more than any human being could stand. By the way, Heidi Heitkamp looks like she's a no, and if she's a no, she's down 11 now. She'll go down 20 by the time this is over. Uh, all right, thank you both for being with us. Uh, Monica Crowley and Dr. Gorka, we always appreciate your time. Thanks for uh, sharing.